So good times this week, busy times, not a lot of sleep again, really busy week. We actually had an audition, a showcase audition in a county I won't mention uh, for our Heart Friends series. And uh, looking forward to sharing all this work with you. We have for children and I thought it went well. They said we should perform as if we were performing for children, which we did, but they didn't mean that. Playwright flying it at the end of the month, more news on that later. So. Essentially, I lobbed a beach ball at unsuspecting elderly people while they were taking notes. And then I picked up Professor Philip Mosley from, uh, from Reagan National. Uh, he edited my play called Molly Dog. Then he spoke at the National Gallery of Art. And I got to meet Margie, Margie the film um, coordinator there at the National Gallery of Art. So cool. And Humphrey Jennings' work, wow. Then uh, we dined, we had some, some social time, and then the professor, who is a very reputable man. Your visit to Washington been so far? Deb, what? A very published man, a very well-spoken man. Can I say? Had mentioned that he may want some chili on U Street, so lots of adventures, lots of road trips this week. DC is my city, like I was born there and stuff, so you know, I took him to Ben's Chili Bowl. Keep your eye on Venus rising. Where he spontaneously burst out into dance, uh, which I totally didn't expect. <laughs> Hoping you're enjoying the week as well. Keep your eye on Venus. Rise. We're chalkboard paint. You know, the walls were covered with chalkboard paint. So he was able to, to write graffiti. And so I think that was really exciting for him. Four tops plus half smoke equals heaven. Okay. And we're, we're still in rehearsal for Measure for Measure. The cast is terrific. We're getting into some deep uh, script analysis work now. Venus still rocks! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, we were actually mentioned briefly in American Theater Magazine. So whoever made that happen, thank you so much for acknowledging Venus. It's been a really long journey, and a lot of people still don't know about us. So it just means the world. And in that vein, I just wanted to take a second to thank some of the amazing, brilliant artists that surround me. Uh, music behind this is Alan Scott singing his song and playing Rocket to the Moon from his Wake Up Your Stereo album. And uh, he does all the music for Venus and he's a genius. I also want to thank Carolyn Gage for uh, sort of being my artistic sister and friend, as well as Cynthia Cooper. Uh, amazing women who have run companies and, and they're just phenomenal. In addition, I wanted to thank Horizons Theater in DC because they've been around for over 25 years doing work for women. And I wanted to acknowledge the theater conspiracy. Even though you don't officially exist anymore, you always exist here at Venus um, and have had a profound impact on me. So I just wanted to get serious for one second to say thank you. Thank you. Have a great week, and I'll check in with you soon if I can, unless I'm sleeping. Bye. <laughs>